You know, when we first came in, I wanted to establish our vision, our mission, our strategy, and that vision is to create a championship culture of academic and athletic excellence. And you do that with people. Uh, and people that understand what our mission is. And our mission is to graduate our student athletes and to compete for championships. And that takes a lot of time because you gotta have a, a you have to have those four pillars of development, intellectual development, social, spiritual, physical, and skill. And that's why we've been able to secure uh, the eight, eight wins this past year, go to our second bowl game, because we had a lot of kids that have bought in. And this senior class has been you know, remarkable in what they've been able to accomplish. Not only what's on the field, but what's off the field. Uh, being able to set the highest GPA, uh, the highest APR score, uh, just tells you a lot about their character, uh, their passion, their competitive spirit, and in all phases of their life. And that's what I'm always looking for when I'm out there recruiting. You know, as a father and as a husband and, and as a graduate with a bachelor's degree and a master's degree, I understand how important that is. And a lot of times when you get these young men that come into our program, uh, they, they focus uh, a lot on the football end of things. But I always told them, I said, when I first took the job here, you're not going to win on the field until you win off the field. You have to be able to prioritize your life. And winning is not by chance, it's by choice. And you win both on the field and off the field by the choices you make, the decisions you make, doing things the right way, the way you treat people, um, the way you give it everything you got every single day. And don't quit. No matter how difficult the task is, no matter how difficult uh, life gets, uh, you just keep fighting. You keep uh, uh, plugging away. You keep persevering. And I think that's been the, the thing that has been indicative of how well we've done in the classroom. And the GPA marks that. The APR marks that. Um, so when people talk to me about you know developing our players intellectually, we're also talking about them not in the classroom but also on the field and how both of those influence one another in a positive manner. And that's why I'm recruiting the right kind of guys that put a, a special value, uh, prioritize the value of their education. And that's what I'm seeing more and more now is that we have guys that are taking care of business both on and off the field, and it's resulting in a lot of wins. And now what we have to do is be able to back that up this upcoming fall uh, in the 2014 season. You know, I try to embrace people as much as possible and, uh, and allowing my side of being a father and a husband, uh, I'm a son, you know, and I and when we talk about family as coaches, uh, I want to get those uh, wives out there and their kids, and I want them around our kids and our program. Uh, it's so important because it's one of my five priorities in my life, one of my five passions, faith, family, football, fishing, and fun, and that family piece is so important. I married my high school sweetheart, so when I'm out recruiting, you know, I talk about that and, and how important that is for me, uh, raising two sons, uh, one 22 and the other one 24, and he's already has his bachelor's degree, and he's gone on to uh, uh, earn some of the most distinguished awards any singular student can have. And, and same thing with my youngest son. Uh, and that's really what encompasses uh, that closeness that, that we all want to feel. Uh, these young men are raised by parents, they have the same family values, those morals, those principles, and I want to see that in part of my program. And you can't do that until those kids see physically the wives and those kids out at practice, uh, during the games, after games, uh, high-fiving and cheering them on. I think that just brings that sense of, a, of, of togetherness that is so important for us to go out on that football field and compete together. Well, the task that I, uh, that I had with my coaching staff was to come in here and, and build it into the wins, uh, and we've been able to do that. Progressively shown a steady improvement each and every year. Uh, two wins, three wins, four wins, eight wins. And we prepare that plan, and, uh, and you should, should expect people to perform. And I think that's what we're constantly uh, doing in regards to our program every day, but also the evaluation and the things. So, you know, it's not just about what we do today. It's about future generations and, you know, building this thing uh, to be in the next big-time athletic brand out there and to be able to do with the right people at a great institution that's always going to have the priorities in, in the right place uh, with our student-athletes coming here. Well, what gets me most excited is the fact that uh, we're an AAU institution and uh, that really places a high priority on the academics and the importance of the faculty that are here and the administration and, and what we've been able to do with Danny White as our leader in our Department of Athletics, uh, setting a UB attendance record and then being able to have that mark the first time that we set uh, the attendance record for the top in the Mid-American Conference speaks volumes to the kind of tailgating atmosphere that we have 
have for our fans and our family and our friends. And uh, what a festive atmosphere that we have. And we're going to continue building on it. So we need everybody out there uh, continuing to uh, help us grow and develop this program into a top flight, uh, you know, recognizable Division I-A football program for many, many years to come. It starts with people, and no one man alone can do it. When I look at my coaching staff, I have coaches that have won Super Bowl championships, uh, national championships, conference championships, been in over 78 uh, bowl championships, uh, and also two books. You know, to be able to have that kind of uh, group of leadership uh, surrounding me uh, that all understand what it takes. A number of them have been head coaches. Uh, my entire defensive staff have all been defensive coordinators. Uh, so these are the kind of individuals that we have impact in our student athlete's life. And that's where I really feel has really made the difference for our program to be able to move to where it is today and how it's going to be able to progress forward in the future. Well, for any parent out there, they know that their young man who comes and plays for me and my coaching staff in this great university is going to walk out of here with a degree in their hand, a ring on their finger, and a trophy over their head. And, and what that says is that it really allows us to develop them through their next four or five years to walk out of here a uh, better human being, you know, somebody who is better prepared, uh, that's going to have an opportunity to realize their goals and, and pursue their passion. Uh, that is so important. So, you know, for me, it's always going to come down to uh, the two things that we've always said, the expectations, graduate, compete for championships, and every single parent out there is going to know that their kid's going to be treated with respect and treated the right way, and they're going to be challenged to competitive greatness.